Hello, this is Future Robert. I don't have a whole lot of time, don't want to take up your time in the video, I just wanted to clarify something. The microphone you see on my chest is not the microphone you're listening to, because the my F2 field recorder did not record. I don't exactly know what happens, I'm having a lot of problems with it, turns out I'm not the only one. I'm um, figuring it out though, so we'll see. Again, I'm new to blogging and my deepest apologies for any continual issues in all of these videos like this. Uh, good news is, you still have audio from the GoPro. It's not as good quality, but it's there. I hope you enjoy. Sorry, sorry again for the, um, the audio, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Enjoy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am in Serpent's Mound. If you've never heard of that, it's a religious thing to the Indians of um, a bunch of mounds that shaped like a snake. It's during the summer, so it's a little hot here, but it's not too bad. I'm, of course, with my grandmother. So we've already walked. <laughs> we're already walked part of it. I want a picture. Where? Not a video, a picture. Where? It's too high in the sky, I can't... If I had your camera, I could do it, I've seen it. It's way above us. It's impossible. Okay. It just is, I'm sorry. I would know. I would have to like crawl in between your legs. I see it. I'd have, to, the sun. I'd have to crawl in between your legs to do it. No, no, no. no. Oh, man. This is, the, this is the head of the snake. It is. A butterfly. Don't know if they can see that, but yeah. <laughs> it is a butterfly. It is nice. The road here was nice. We got to see, um, what are they called? That Amish. religion? Mm -hmm. hmm? It could be Amish culture, Amish. but we had a horse and buggy. Yeah, a really healthy looking horse, too. Very, they very They make furniture. <laughs> and have good fruit. I'm gonna stop by and get fruit. Yeah. Where's the rest of the snake? I don't wanna miss the snake. There's the head. Where's the body? It just curls and curls and curls. I wanna be up in an airplane. Yeah, it rhymes. Look. I'll have to fly you over when we get our plane. Supposedly this is what, like 2,300 years old? Or dated back to that when it was created? Or landscaped? Real, real interesting place. Not a whole lot to it. We've gone a long way, but the energy, the spirituality of it all is worth it. The journey was worth it. Don't know where we're going after this. To get food. <laughs> to get food, yes. And then to enjoy the present. That's some place cooler. Oh. <laughs> Not many places cooler this time of year. We can go back to uh, Mount um, Iceland. Well, Iceland, but we can go back to Mount. Oh, yeah. What's it called? Anyway, look, look, look. What is that? The body? Yeah, this is look, part of the body. Curls around. Do you yeah. see it? Of course. Okay. Even from the ground, you can recognize that it's. The snake yeah. body. And the question is, what was it? Oh, the question. Old landing strip. Landing strip, probably not. Why else would it be here? It matches the <clears throat> NASCAR lines of Peru. Chances are, it's a um, a temple, religious place, similar to the pyramids. trees you walk in between. Kind of makes sense. Indians are all about nature. This is a kind of a natural temple. So, American Indians. Of course it could have been like a tribe. Serpent tribe. A lot of work to symbolize your tribe. 
But if they're big enough, they could have. They might have lived in the serpent and had to be protected. So this is a tail. Yes. It's nice. This is where the tail begins. And it goes all the way to the place. Okay, I'm gonna end it here. There's not much to see here, but this is. This well, is take it. at least a picture of the whole thing somewhere. Oh yeah, a picture of it. Well, I can, I can stick it on the screen. Um, post editing. Okay. Right. So I'll do that. Uh, don't know where I'm going next, but I'll see you there. I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna go get some fruit. I'm going to go enjoy Idaho and Kentucky. Um, okay. Oh, Ohio. Ohio. I always get Ohio and Idaho confused. Idaho would probably be cooler. I'm ready. <laughs> Idaho Falls. Yeah, maybe we'll go to Idaho. Okay. But today is Ohio. I'll see you next time. Robert Riel, my grandmother. Signing off. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Last you saw me, I was in Serpent's Mound. Since then, I went to Boston and took a train to New York. Uh, nothing happened in Boston, that's why I didn't record anything. We just kind of slept in a hotel. Getting a hotel is kind of difficult. And we took a four hour train to here. We sat across from some very nice uh, Russians. Um, uh, his name was uh, Ernest and his mother. Ernest is 18, he came to America, he went to high school in America, down in Florida, and he's going to college in South Carolina. He's, um, he's a nice guy, I enjoyed visiting with him. Uh, worked on my book, you know, it was a, overall, just, I like trains, trains is a nice, nice thing to do. But now we're in New York. Uh, we're in New York for a few days, I don't know what I'm going to vlog here, I've been here a few times. Um, because my grandmother has a doctor here um, if you're yeah that is a thing and uh, so we come here every few months to get a checkup about some surgery she had about a year ago well about seven months ago so it's not quite a year um, but overall um, it's always always a joy to come to New York it's a bit of a difference from the little small town I'm used to uh, and it's, it's a bit different from Dallas, even, but it is still a very enjoyable place to be. You may notice, I don't know if you've ever been to New York, but their hotel rooms are very small and the prices are very expensive. And so I, uh, what I wanted to vlog about to give you an update is also to show you the penthouse. Yeah, that's right. Every time I come to New York, I do a penthouse. Uh, that's why I'm at the top floor, and that's why I have a massive room. The first time I went to New York, and the second time, tiny room, barely enough to just skimmy through to get into the bed. Uh, and I had to share a bed with my grandmother, a uh, queen-sized bed. But you know, you had you got to do what you got to do, and you know. But now, now, ladies and gentlemen, I've gone up in the world. So we've got a, so this, this hotel is guard, called the Garden Sinesta. Uh It's in Upper East Side, Manhattan. It's in walking distance to her doctor. That's where we found it. It's also a pretty, um, it's a place where a lot of the his patients go to. He's a very, he's a world renowned doctor. Also, I should probably take this and talk to you more directly because I use the little Rose mouse, the Rose mic. Um, are you dressed? Yes. Okay. Say hello to the viewers if... They're friends of mine? <laughs> friends of yours? Of course they're friends of yours. <clears throat> what? Of course, all of your friends. Hello, here we are in New York, one of my favorite cities. It is truly the best city in the world. It is. Everyone needs to come to New York. Indeed. So this is the room. I finally get my own bed. 
We just spent so much time in New York. We're not as excited about it and as enthused about it as we might could have been. But tonight we're meeting a friend that works at the United Nations, a wonderful, wonderful guy named Richard. And tomorrow we have another friend who's meeting us on the other side of the Hudson, she's picking us up from the ferry. Janet, she lives in New Jersey. Yes, we have to go. Now that we've got a few more nights here than we usually do, we usually fly in and fly out. Uh, we're going to take the time to visit some of our friends who lived here that we've met in our um, world travel travels. Funny enough, we met Richard and Janet on a um, at the same place. A Why is the train that Corbin said he's already shown you? Oh yeah, the I, I might. Fantastic. I might we put in these some wonderful people from Russia, an international student, foreign exchange student, and the train from. Boston to New York. This, this is fantastic. Stop in Connecticut, Rhode Island. It's beautiful. Indeed. Where was that? Where is that boat that we went to uh, that we met Richard and Janet? The rail trip. Yeah, in the Dominican Republic, the best place in the world to uh, float. You float and swim with whales. And Corbin got really afraid. So did Richard. <laughs> Richard went to scuba diving lessons, and all you see him one time in the water is like this. It's a trick they taught scuba divers, and it's really right because the whales are much bigger than you, and you sure don't want to be near their fins. And but it's it's amazing. And the thing about water creatures is you can't hear them. So you can see them. It's not like whales aren't big. Yeah, but if you're in land, if there's an elephant behind you, you'll hear the stomping. When you're in the water and there's a rail behind you, you won't know it's there until, unless you actually turn around and look. Open your eyes. <laughs> I don't have eyes in the back of my head. Anyway. Uh, okay. So, yeah, Dominica Republic rail trip. Now, I did not get scared. Maybe once. But uh, we were in the water for how long? A week? A few days. Yes. Take you out. They kidnapped you for a week. Yeah, they kidnapped. They kidnapped us for a week in a. They take you out twice a day. In a, in a yacht, it's a nice yacht. We got our own little room. Very fun experience. The cheap. You can do it for a week for like four thousand dollars. It's one of the cheapest vacations we ever went on. What was the name of that um, yacht? That, what's the name of the company that does it? They do a few trips. And it's um. um well, you're thinking of Aggressor Fleet, yeah. but that's not who we went with. Who we went with was, uh, yeah, what is... But Aggressor Fleet provided the boat and they do, do right. the tours, but we went with a more spiritual group that used their fleet to do it. They went to their boat and their crew. Right. right. They chartered Aggressor Fleets. So I don't know if Aggressor Fleet does it on their own or not. I really, really don't know that. They them, but it might be worth it. Who was it? It wasn't, um, gosh, they still send me stuff. Anybody, and, and I want to, I want to tell people about it. The fridge is telling me. The fridge is telling me you didn't shut it. It's not, we went with a scripture group, but that's not the only people that was there. There's also a cameraman from, what's the word in California. Oh, that's it. Conscious Breath. They're called Conscious Breath Adventures. The Humpback Wells of the Silver Bank Cruise. Conscious Breath Adventures. There we go. And they rented. And it's been far too long. We need to do it again. We do. I want to use the Gresser Fleet for a scuba diving. Gresser Fleet goes over to the scuba. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, so that's the penthouse. That's a little update on what we've done and we'll be here a few nights we're not going to do much of anything worth vlogging but if there is i'll rip out the gopro i have my little bag i keep it with I hope me. you're taking me on a helicopter it's a little cloudy for a helicopter it may not it's go not up raining. last time we couldn't go with john because it was raining yeah but there's no point going up if you can't see anything Okay. Oh, you to go for it. I want to see New York at night on a helicopter. I brought the wrong stick, so I can't carry my GoPro on a stick. Okay. I hope you've been enjoying these vlogs. And uh, if this is the end, where I might throw in there was that footage of... Um, I might throw in the footage of the train that I did um, in a, a previous trip to 
kind of show you what it's all about. Um, but I think that's it. So I'll see you next time. Hope you enjoy the footage if I remember to put it in there.